Pandas is an extremely popular Python package for working and exploring data sets. It's an essential tool for anyone interested in working with data in Python. And while many love and use it every day, I'm surprised when I come across code that can be sped up in its efficiency just by making a few adjustments. In this video, I'm gonna show you a trick that in our example, makes the code run 2000 times faster. And as you start working with larger and larger data sets, this trick is gonna become essential. My name is Rob and I make videos about coding in Python and machine learning. If you do enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and giving me a follow on Twitch. All right, so let's look at speeding up some pandas code. Okay, I hope you're excited to speed up some code. Here I am in a Jupyter Lab notebook and I am just gonna start by making some imports. So of course we wanna import pandas as pd and import numpy as np. And then we're gonna create our data set. We're only using our data set as an example. So we're actually gonna create some random data and we're gonna create that as a data frame like this. Our data is going to be about fictitious people. We'll give these people random ages using numpy's random. Let's give them a random integer between one and 100. And let's make all of these the same size, which will be 10,000. We'll also give the time in bed for these people. Ran, random, randint. We're gonna give the percentage of time sleeping. Now here we'll give some categorical features. So we'll give the favorite food of the person. Let's give them pizza, taco, and ice cream. And we'll give them some food that they hate. So the hate food, random choice of broccoli. That's right, we need to add the size. Candy, corn, and eggs. And we can do this and see that we have our data set here with random data for the, the people that we are simulating. But we'll wrap this in a function so we can call it, uh, let's call it get data and add this size as a parameter and have it return this data frame. So now if we call get data, we get our random data set. So we're gonna make a fictitious problem up that we're trying to solve with pandas here. The problem is we're taking the data that we have here and we're gonna say, uh, given some conditions, we wanna give each person a reward. So reward cal calculation. If they were in bed for more than five hours and they were sleeping for more than 50% of the time or 0.5, we give them their favorite food. Otherwise, we give them their hate food. And just to make it a little trickier, we're also gonna say if they are over 90 years old, give their favorite food regardless. They've lived to be 90 years old, so they deserve their favorite food. So we can write this, so we can write out this problem or this calculation in the form of a function that we will eventually apply to our data frame. I'm gonna do it pretty easily. Let's call this reward calc, and we'll give it a row or a, a person from our data frame. Writing our problem out as code, we would say if the age of the person is greater or equal to 90, we'll return their favorite food. If the row time in bed, is greater than five and the percent time sleeping is greater than 0.5, then we return their favorite food. And then otherwise we're gonna return the hate food. So this is the sort of thing you come across a lot when working with Panda data sets. You wanna apply some sort of a function or logic across every row in the data set. And we're gonna do this three different ways from slowest to fastest. Now the first one we'll call level one. 
which is looping. This was always my first way of trying to solve this sort of problem, is looping over each row of the data set and applying our known reward calculation. Now what we're gonna find is, it's not necessarily very fast, but let's give it a try. So we're gonna first call our get data function, then we're gonna iterate over each row using the iter rows function. So we're gonna say for index row in data frame iter rows, and then for each row, we'll call our reward calc. And we need to store this into our data frame at the index location that we are located in. So we'll do loc.index, call this reward, and store it. You can see it's running now, and there it's finished. So we wanna time this and see how long it actually takes. And when there's this nice magic tool that we can run on the top of our Jupyter cell called time it and this will run it multiple times and give us the average amount of time it took to run. It's nice to time things this way because then you get an idea over uh, multiple times as opposed to just one try. And it's finally done. All right we see it ran for seven runs and each run was about 3.4 seconds. That seems pretty slow, let's make it faster. So we're gonna go into level number two, which is the apply function. You may have heard of using the apply function, it can be very useful. In this case, we are going to just take our data frame and we'll apply this cal reward calculation function that we created. And we're gonna do it on the axis equals one so that we make sure it runs through each row. And it's essentially gonna do the same thing as our loop, but more efficiently. So let's store this as reward. Let's also get a new data frame every time and time it like we did above. All right, so it's done. So it ran seven times and averaged 189 milliseconds. We're already seeing a huge speed improvement by using apply instead of iterating over each row. But there's more, let's make it even faster. Let's go on to level three. And this is the key to speeding up most of your slow pandas code, and that's using vectorized functions. Vectorized functions work very efficiently, and they're when you apply functions like this across the whole data set instead of each row. I'm gonna show you how we do that here. So what we would do is instead of using our pre-built function for each row, we actually apply each of these conditions to the whole data frame itself. Let's write each of them out. So we're gonna say the percent sleeping, we remember, needs to be greater than five for it to be true. And the time in bed needs to be greater than five or if the age is greater than 90. So this is a vectorized version of the same code that we wrote above, but it's gonna run a lot faster. And what it'll provide us back with is an array of true or false for if it meets this condition. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call our get data function again. We're gonna call reward is equal to the hate food, except for when these conditions are met. So we've already filled the reward in with all hate food, but we're gonna locate when these conditions are met, and when they are, we'll give the reward of the favorite food. And let's just split these lines up so it's a little bit easier to follow. And let's go ahead and run time it on this. Wow, that's a lot faster. You can see it's 6.91 milliseconds. And actually, the t a lot of the time that was taken to run this was just in the get data function. So if I remove that get data function out of this, 1.57 milliseconds. Let's just quickly plot what the difference is in time that it takes. And I have some data saved off here from a previous run. These are the results from a previous run where I had the milliseconds that looping applying and vectorize each took, set our index to the type, plot this as a bar plot. And we can see here at the time it took to run each reward type, the huge jump 
down was by changing from a loop to apply. But then you can see that going from apply to using vectorize functions made it even more fast. So the key is whenever you're writing functions on pandas, try to use vectorize as much as you can. It's not always the case that you're able to do it, but when, when possible, use a vectorize function. I hope you enjoyed this quick video showing you how you can speed up your pandas code. Always use vectorize functions as you can. Don't iterate or loop over it unless you need to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.